All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. All right, you guys. So back at y'all with yet another one. And so TMZ is out here dropping all of these reports today. And now new reports have come out with footage of inside P. Diddy's uh, home. And according to reports, P. Diddy is enraged uh, after the FBI feds uh, invest uh, raid. P. Diddy apparently uh, did not notice Ray was coming. He was surprised, did not know the FBI was investigating him, according to the reports. And it's also being reported now that uh, the FBI, when they went in P. Diddy's home, they what uh, they allegedly seized all of his electronics out of all of his homes. Now, uh, TMZ. They have been out here on top of all of their stories. And so I'm passing you guys the information from TMZ. And for you guys to see what's going on, TMZ, as you guys can see, has been dropping pictures of after the raid in Diddy's home. And this thing is absolutely crazy. They tore Diddy's home to shreds. If you guys can see the pictures, you guys can see inside of P. Diddy's home. This video, photos taken inside of the home of P. Diddy. If y'all want to see the actual videos, they'll be up online in a while but tmz has shown this is just insane all the things the fbi did inside of puff's home they absolutely went through this home and tore this thing to shreds and i mean they went through everything it looks like man and this is the bad part because see this is this is this, to, this is complete violation of policy right here man i mean a privacy right here like you know what i'm saying um as far as just i'm not saying the fbi ain't doing their job i'm just saying man like Somebody do this to your home, bro. You feel violated, bro. If somebody do this type of stuff to your home, bro, you feel, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel right, bro. Like, look at all of that stuff just being thrown, boxes broken, all this other stuff. Now, you got to go through and straighten up and clean all of this stuff up, man. It is unbelievable, man. All of this stuff that was just thrown to the side, thrown all over the place, wrecked all over the place. You got to see the house full of stuff just thrown all over the place. And they say Diddy is irate and say it's a... It is a witch hunt that's going on with him, uh, with this whole situation with the FBI, man. And I'm talking about, bro, they told that home to shreds, brother. And you can just see all of the stuff ransacked, gone through. FBI don't play. They ran in there, got went through all of that stuff, took all the electronics out, according to the reports from TMZ and other outlets. They took all the electronics out of all his cribs and, um... You guys can even see his office right there, bro. Like, they took the computer, everything. The only thing they didn't take is that phone on the table. But it seemed like everything else, they took all that stuff, bro. I mean, went through all of it, bro. That's crazy violation, bro. Now, imagine if you got to be the person to go back in here and clean all this stuff up, bro. That's crazy, bro. If you got to be the person that go back through this stuff and, t and clean this stuff up, man. That's just, I mean, this is unbelievable right here. All of this stuff that they did inside. And these are pictures that TMZ put out. Shout out to TMZ. Uh, they put these pictures out today on the inside of Diddy's home after it being ransacked, man. And this is just, man, when I saw the pictures, bro, I was just like, man, if you a kid, though, if you a daughter or a son of his, and you get your stuff just ran through, ransacked through like that, bro, bro, you're going to feel super, especially, you know, that stuff was probably all straightened up and clean and organized. And then you come home and that stuff looking like that, man. That's crazy, bro. And so, again, man, they saying that Diddy is on one right now about this. They say he is irate on this right here, man. And I don't blame him, bro. If you look at the crib, bro, I can't blame him. I'd be upset, too. You know what I'm saying? If somebody came and ransacked my crib like that. But, again, you know, the FBI, we got to figure out what the probable cause was. They said that they were doing it as far as an investigation into you know what. So, you know, they said he was moving something, trafficking something. So, 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what the investigation is about, according to the reports. And so, for me, if that's what the report is, if that's what they're saying it's about, um, you know, then they had to have probable cause to go inside his home, man. But, I mean, to see the home like that, bro, I was just like, damn, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, they, re- they told that shit in shreds, bro. And I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about, bro. But, hey, I'm tell y'all the truth. My home get done like that, man, I'm ready to move out, bro. I- I'm be honest with you, bro. I just want to move out, bro. Cause I feel like, man, like real talk, bro. That's crazy, man. You said I feel bad they did that. Bro, I don't like when nobody go through, like, I don't like when nobody tear your shit to shreds, bro. Like, for example, AK, if they kick your shit down, if they kick your house down, bro, you know what I'm saying? And let's say, let's say you ain't got nothing. Let's say you innocent, you ain't got nothing. They kick your house down. How you gonna feel, bro? You gonna be violated, you gonna feel violated, bro. You gonna be like, man, they violated me, bro. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't find nothing, then let's say they come back, right? Let's say they come back and they don't find nothing. Let's say they come back and they don't find nothing. Bruh, that's crazy. All your, this, this, and it's just one. Think about all the homes, bruh. <laughs> bruh, this just one. Shit, I'd be hot too. Y'all, shit, they better find something the way they tore that home up, bruh. I'm gonna be honest with you, bruh. They better find something, bruh. Look at that home, bruh. Look at that, bruh. That's crazy. You said nothing to do but clean up. Fool, do you know what size house feed did he got? You talking about ain't nothing to clean up, bro? That's a, that's, that is almost a 30-day job right there, bro. What the hell wrong with you? You talking about organizing, putting all that stuff up? That dude got probably about 30 rooms in that house, bro. Do you know what type of cleanup job that's going to be? And the bad part is, is that this. Somebody got to tell me in the comment section, like, when they ramsack your crib, if they don't find nothing, do they have to pay for it? Hell no. I'm going to say it again. If they ramsack your crib and they don't find nothing against you, do they, do they have to pay for it? Somebody tell me in the comment section. If they kick down your door and they don't get nothing by kicking down your door, right? Do they have to pay for it? Somebody tell me in the comment section. I, I do want to know that. I, I want to know that. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to pay for nothing? Man, hell no. Nah. Boy, I'd be mad too if I was that. Man, I'd be hot as hell, bro. I'd be mad as I don't know what. Y'all talking about a cleaning crew? Bro, listen, let me tell you something. If you the cleaning crew, you got to go through that with the kids, the family, everybody for all that stuff. Look at all that stuff, man. That's in, that's insane. All that stuff that's around. Look, 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 look at the closet, bro. Now, imagine if your closet was clean when you left and you come back home and your closet looked like that, bro. Man, oh, hell no, nah, bro. No, no dice. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way in the world, bro. Ain't no way in the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying, bro. Hey, you feel crazy. They come kicking your door, bro, and they don't find nothing? No dice, bro. No dice. You said you did what? Hey, man, listen. You said, dude, this is what they do? Yeah, right. But I'm, I'm saying that if they don't find nothing, let's say they come back, right, and he don't get charged with nothing. Shouldn't he be able to sue for this? That's straight violation right there, bro. That's violation. Bro, look at, hold on. Bro, look at that, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. You said what? Man, listen, bro. I'm just telling y'all what it is. Nah, everybody keeps saying they pulling up to get rid of evidence. Man, don't y'all know one thing? They have witnesses, bro. What, what, hold on. Let's, I'm going to say something to y'all in the comment section, bro. I keep seeing people in the comments talking about, oh, no, they just pulled up to uh, clean up stuff. Are you out of your mind? You think they're wasting government money on that? Bro, they have witnesses. They have people that are cooperating with the feds. They've already said they got five people cooperating with the feds, bro. You never know what the feds is going to do. They might not come and arrest you then. They might not come and arrest you then. They might just be coming to raid you in order to get more evidence to build a bigger case. By the time they come raid you, they have to have a warrant to come raid your house. Period. They have to have a warrant to come raid your house, brother. So they have to have probable cause, a reason, and a judge sign off on that. Did y'all not hear the dude, Myron, from uh, from the show? Uh, what's the name of that show? He was an FBI agent. He talked about it yesterday online about what the feds have to do to get a warrant to go in your crib 
So they had to get that signed off by a judge. They had to go up a whole lot of levels to get that signed off on. So they had to have some type of evidence to be able to go in there. And they said that they already got witnesses talking. Did y'all not see? Did y'all not see Cassie? Lawyers say that she's willing to cooperate. Did y'all not see that? Did y'all not see that? I'm going to repeat myself again. Cassie's lawyer said they're willing to cooperate. Did y'all not see Gene Deal go on the um, Art of Dialogue and tell Art he willing to go testify on whatever it is he knows? Gene Deal, and, and guess what? Let me see something. I don't even think Gene Deal's put out a video since this happened. Normally, Gene Deal be all over this. Now, think about that. I don't even think Gene Deal has put out a video. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go to Gene Deal's channel. I don't even think Gene's put out a video. Let me see. Big Gene. Let me see if Gene put out a video. Gene has not put out a video. He put out one the day before yesterday. Gene Deal put out a video the day before yesterday. He put out a video, I think, before the whole raid. Gene Deal put out a video before the raid, and he ain't put out one since. Make it make sense. Gene would have already put out another video after this. Gene would have been online going in. The fact that he ain't put out a video yesterday or today, it let me know something, man. I'm trying to tell y'all this, bro. He already said on the Art of Dialogue channel he willing to get on the stand and testify. He said that already. They say Cassie and her lawyer are already willing. The dude who's suing Diddy now, Hot Rod, what you think, Lil Rod, whatever his name is. Lil Rod, the hit, uh, the hit man, Lil Rod. He don't already put all this stuff in a lawsuit. They said he may be willing to cooperate. I don't know if that's true or not about him. But I'm just saying, bro. They said it's like five people cooperating with the feds, man. So, bro, once you got witnesses and stuff like this, man, y'all keep talking about they ain't got no evidence. Nigga, they got witnesses. What the hell wrong with y'all? They have witnesses. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I don't know what's wrong with these people. They have witnesses that's testifying. That's like, hey, man, but they ain't got no proof I did that. Man, if you got a witnesses that are our witnesses that are going out, pointing you out in a lineup, bro, you're going to get jammed up. Straight up. Oh, Listen, this is what people don't understand. All Cassie got to do is go to the police and tell them what she said in the lawsuit. That's enough right there for uh, a warrant. Do you guys not know the law? I think it's people that's on YouTube that just don't understand the law. The only thing Cassie got to do is go make is go file a criminal complaint and claim all of this stuff to at least warrant the feds to investigate. These are the facts. These are the facts. And then if she can present any type of evidence that any of this stuff happened, right? Now, I want you all to think about this. Emails, text messages, all of these things that she could try to provide over the years. What y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all think the feds ain't got all this stuff? Y'all think y'all think that the feds ain't going to talk to Cassie and get all this stuff? And she, gonna, she ain't going to be up there on a the stand if, if a trial go down? Come on, bro. Keep it 100, man. You think the feds just coming in here, running around here, tearing stuff up for no reason? Stop playing. Y'all must not know. The feds do not play. The feds got like a 99% conviction rate, bro. They don't play. That, that's why I keep hearing people come on my channel and online talking about some. Oh, they ain't got nothing. The hell you mean they ain't got nothing? They got everything. When they come for you, they got something. You think they coming just to play? Yeah, man. You know, uh, we just came over here joking around, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Take that, take that, take that. We just playing games with you. We ain't serious. Man, you don't lost your damn mind, man. They got, man, they had all them them federal agents out there running crazy, helicopters flying around, and you think they ain't got a wiffle ball bat? Man, you don't lost your damn mind, man. Y'all don't lost your damn mind, man. Man, them people, they already said them people got like five different witnesses. Now, what happens if you got witnesses that can corroborate Cassie's story? That the little, the little dude, little Rod, he just put out a video. Lil Rod just put out a video. He just put out a video on um, social media the other day saying, pray for me. He in, he in fear of himself and his family. He just put that video on his on his job, the dude who, who's suing Diddy. I looked at it. 
I looked at it. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. Tell about some oh hey man, they ain't getting nothing ticket. They going in there to clean stuff up. Man, what the hell you think? You think the feds are going in to clean up? Man, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. So you think they're gonna spend all that government money, then come out and say, yeah, we ain't even get a wiffle ball back. Man, stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. They're gonna make sure when they come, they coming for it, they sweeping the block when they come. Trust me, bro. It's people that's all kind of snitching in this situation. I'm telling you right now, it's people that's snitching. And here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? This is what I want to say to y'all, right? Think about this right here. If people were still with cool with Diddy and rocking with Diddy, would they have snitched? Do y'all think they would have snitched if they were still cool and rocking with Diddy? Because it was up until a point where, for example, like all that time, and I'm not, I don't want to demean nobody. But I'm just saying, like, do y'all, I'm asking y'all a question. Do y'all think that Cassie would have said something if she was still with Diddy? I'm asking y'all that question. That's the question I want y'all to answer in the comment section. I want everybody in the comment section to answer that question. I want the answer to that question. Do y'all think if Cassie was still dating Diddy, she would have sued? Everybody saying, I see some people, I see everybody saying no. I see everybody saying no. But now, it's like, it's a thing that's built up. Okay, one person said yes. Blake said yes. Reed Jenkins said yeah. Okay, so it's one person say yeah, everybody say no. I'm just telling y'all this, man. So at the end of the day, here's a lesson, right? First of all, watch what you do, allegedly. And second of all, watch who you got around you, man. Hey, listen, bro. Hey, listen, man. I'm going to say it again, bro. You know what I mean? And it, and it's just the truth, brother. It's just the truth, man. Bro, the way they did that man house, bro, you think they put all them agents? Bro, I've seen at least 40 agents running one house, man. You got 40 agents in one house, and you don't think they came up with a wiffle ball bat? Man, stop playing, man. They already got witnesses. They already got people corroborating people's story. And go look at Hit Hitman, Lil Rod. Go look at – it's online today. I've seen it online. The man put out a video, said he was in fear of his life and his family. He said that. You know what I'm saying? He the one came out and made those allegations. So again, bro, you know what I mean? I'm just telling y'all what it is, bro. And then old boy got popped today, too. Oh, old, old boy got popped with the drugs yesterday, too, in the bus. Yeah, man, they finna roll dudes up, man. You know what I mean? This finna be the... This finna be the biggest case in the history of the United States. This finna be the biggest case in United States history, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all this. They finna, they finna use Diddy. And, and here's the sad part, right? You had dudes that had more money than Diddy. You had dudes that had more, and they didn't even get this type of smoke. But they'll do this for Bill Cosby and all these other dudes. I tell y'all this right now. I tell y'all this right now, man. You know what I mean? You said what? You said what? You said OJ part two? Nah, they're going to do him worse. He's going to get more. They're going to they do him worse than OJ, bro. They're going to do him worse than OJ. Y'all going to see. I told um, what you call last night on the stream. I was like, bro, it's going to be people from the 90s. Y'all ain't even think about no more. That they're going to be pulling up to come testify, man. Bro, that girl was screaming to the top of her lungs, bro. Talking about something. It was Diddy who did it. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Shine. It was Diddy. I was like, no. When she did that, I was like, yeah, they coming. I said, yeah, they coming. This was like two weeks ago. Remember I did that video? And I told y'all that girl came back out and was like, nah, it was Diddy. It wasn't Shine. It was Diddy. I saw him. I told him back then. Everybody said she was lying and she was clout chasing. What y'all think? Shit, man. I'm just trying to tell you, man. In this world we live in, man, right is right and wrong is wrong. It don't matter where you come from, who you look like, what you look like. Hey, get your ass out of here. Hey, get your ass out of here right now before I come over there. Big ass got daggone. Big ass dog over there. Big, a big straight pit bull out here, y'all. Man. How you let that one off the leash? 
that motherfucker started walking up towards me and stuff. I'm sitting down right here. That motherfucker started walking up towards me. I'm like, hold on, bro. You finna jump on me out here. Man. So, yeah, y'all. It's crazy. Nah, saca la cosa de ahí. Uh-huh. La silla. And la cosa de ahí. Saca. So, yeah, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what it is. Huh? Then Escalado, man. Oh, he pinged all that stuff. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. It's that motherfucking pit bull right there, man. God, dog. You see that shit? He started walking over here, bro. I said, God, dang. And that joint big as hell. Look at that joint right there, dog. So, yeah, my bad, y'all. So, um, anyways, as I was saying, as I was telling y'all, man, um, yeah, man, this thing getting ready to get crazy with Puff, man. You guys, y'all, I don't know if y'all seeing it or not, man, but it's just the truth, man. It's a scary situation going on, bro. And I'm telling everybody that's watching this video, man, bro, Cat Williams set the year off, bro. Y'all wonder why so many people was upset with Cat Williams? Cat Williams, and let me tell y'all something. It was a reason why that interview Cat Williams did with Shannon Sharp went viral like that. It was a reason. That shit was destined to happen, man. I'm convinced now that that interview Cat Williams did, it was destined to happen, y'all. Cat Williams said this is going to be the year of exposure. And that video off the top of the year did 60-something million views easy. And all and all of the doubters start hating. You start seeing everybody expose themselves coming out hate. You seen D.L. Hewley, who run over there to DJ Vlad channel every single day, the most gossiping channel on YouTube, talking about some Shannon Sharp. Is Whitney Wendy Williams with a with a with a weight with a weight set, but look at him, he run over that DJ Vlad gossiping on everybody else's business every time he got a second, and all these people start exposing themselves, coming out hating on the man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't want to talk about Cat Williams. Notice this: they ain't want to pull smoke with Cat. They want to smoke with Shannon Sharp, right? I want you to think about this. All he do is start exposing himself, and so now you see it. Now you see it. You don't heard all of these different allegations come out. Vince McMahon, the allegations against James Dolan. Now the allegations, I'm just telling y'all what it is, man. I'm trying to tell y'all what it is, man. Shout out to Andre Robinson. He said, you big as hell, Ticket. You scared of that dog? Man, my brother, if you seen the size of that pit bull that just walked up on me, bro, a straight, my brother, I don't play no games like that, dog, at all. Real talk. And the way that pit was looking, bro, he wasn't about to be playing no games. No dice. But I'm just trying to tell y'all this, man. Shout out to my boy Lion Face, man. My boy Lion Face always be holding it down over here, man. Lion Face know what time it is. Lion Face a real one, man. Lion Face a real one. But yeah, dog, hey, I'm just telling y'all what it is, man. I'm being honest with y'all, man. Man, I ain't got hey Andre, I ain't got time to be playing with no pit bull today, man. Real talk. I, ain't, I got I got flip-flops on and stuff, bro. Nah, no dice, bro. I ain't got time. I don't have time for it today, dog. No sir. No sir. And that thing look like he ain't never miss a meal. No sir. And that's a stray, dog. That dog is a stray dog on the loose without a without a without a chain. So yeah, I'm just telling you guys this, man. This is all the stuff y'all see going on though, man. You know what I'm saying? And so all these people that y'all seen get called out, man. Like I said before, man, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. You did? You said, did they see what they finding for? I told you, they said they, they, they took all of his electronics. Bro, let me tell y'all something before I get off this video because I got something to do. Do y'all think that the feds are stupid? Do y'all think that the feds is going to run up in P. Diddy's house? I, I want y'all to think about this. Do y'all think the feds are going to run into Puff Daddy's house? Rams tear the house up for no reason. Do y'all without no type of plan? You really think they're going to do that for no reason, bro? Come on, man. Stop playing, man. They, what they have not done is the feds have not shown your, their hand. That's what they haven't done. The feds have not shown their hand. That is the situation. When the feds want to show their hand, when they want to show their hand, everything's going to be laid out. The feds are not stupid. They're not showing their hand right now. When they ready to show their hand, they gonna show their hand. But they've already, already been reported. They got dudes snitching. 
I mean, once you get more than one people, one person to corroborate a story, look what happened to R. Kelly. R. Kelly had all them people that came out and testified against him. It was over with. Once he had all them people come out and do that, do that TV show. What was the name of that TV show, y'all? Um, surviving, surviving Ke R. Kelly. I think that was the name of the show. Once they did all that, man, it was over, bro. What y'all thought? It was all them people was coming out making them. Bro, listen. I'm just telling y'all. Then they went to court crying and testifying. Stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. So just with that by itself, the fact that you have witnesses, people who are willing to go to court, and then again, let me say this to y'all one more time because I really don't think people understand this. Y'all got to understand one thing. Notice this. Every time something don't happen with Puff, Gene Deal have been online instantly. Since the Fed raid yesterday, Gene Deal ain't been online one time. And Gene, and Gene went on Art of Dialogue. Go back to Art of Dialogue's channel. Gene told Art of Dialogue last month. I think Art asked him. He was like, Gene, would you be willing to get on the stand and testify against Puff if you need to? He said, yes. He said, now, I ain't going to lie. He said, but I'm going to tell what I saw. That's exactly what Gene Deal said. Now, people sat up there and said, oh, Gene's a snitch. How is Gene a snitch when he's law enforcement? Then I had a fool come on my channel say, oh, ticket, Gene ain't law enforcement. He is law enforcement, bro. Law enforcement don't mean you're just a police officer, bro. It's called law enforcement. A police officer is just, is just only under one sector under the brim of law enforcement, brother. Do you not know what you're talking about? A probation officer could be law enforcement, sir. Y'all got to understand what's going on, bro. A parole officer could be law enforcement, sir. Y'all got to know what y'all talking about. Or y'all come up in here running y'all mouth because y'all don't make no sense. So I, I'm going to tell y'all something I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to tell y'all something I'm going to be looking at. And everybody is going to take what I just said right now. If y'all do not see Gene Deal saying nothing, if Gene Deal is not talking no more about this Diddy situation, the feds probably gonna get him to come testify. The feds probably gonna get him to come testify, and he got be he can't say nothing else. Gene Deal already said, and he, you ain't gotta say, oh, to go to all the dialogue channel. He already said on our channel. He said when he said that, I said, damn dog. When he said that, I'm willing to go in court and testify. Because remember, if you're willing to go on YouTube and say that in the general public, if you're willing to go on YouTube and say this stuff every single day. The hell you not going to go in the front of the feds and say that stuff, bro? I'm just telling y'all the truth. I'm telling y'all the truth, man. And so all the people that y'all see doing interviews that's willing to say that stuff that they saying in the interviews, bro, what y'all think they're going to do when them feds come? Come on, bro. So, no, Gene Deal is not a snitch because Gene Deal was law enforcement. So he can't be a snitch. He's not a street cat. He, not, he wasn't a gangster. He never claimed to be one. He always said he was a parole officer. So I'm just telling y'all what it is. Telling y'all what it is, man. Y'all need to peep game. You know what I'm saying? So again, man, y'all let me know what y'all feel, man. This thing finna get ugly. But I'm gonna be monitoring Gene Deal's channel. If y'all do not see Gene Deal on live talking about this P. Diddy stuff, this raid and stuff, know that they probably gonna get him to testify i i believe the feds are gonna get you because he was with him every day that's, that's that man bodyguard that, bro anything that's happened to puff gene deal have been on youtube every single day after anything happened in puff's name this the first time you mean to tell me the biggest damn thing that happened to, to puff gene deal ain't nowhere to be found man get out of here bro y'all already know what time it is get out of here bro no and gene already told you gene stood 10 toes on it and said what he was gonna do so when people called him a snitch, nah, he ain't no snitch. He just doing what he, he, he said he was law enforcement. So that's just the truth. If he was a street cat and he was going against the code, that's snitching. If Gene was a gangster or he was a street cat and he was going against the code, that's snitching. When you, when you, when you, when you law enforcement, bro, <laughs> and you doing your job, that's not snitching, brother. You guys got to get snitching the whole, you know what I'm saying? In a whole different category, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, peep that. I, I just want everybody to notice that. I was surprised that Gene didn't go live yesterday after this happened. That let me know. I said, damn, they must be talking to Gene. Told Gene, look, you can't say nothing else, bro. Because we're going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to call you up. You know? And I'm pretty sure they're going to be calling other people up, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they're going to be calling other people who was around up, too. So, like I said, 
if anything ever happens or it ever goes to trial, you're going to see who's standing 10 toes down and who's going to sit up there and let it ride. We're going to see. So like, share, subscribe, man. Ring the bell. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all feel. Let me know what y'all think on this. And so, man, man, this situation getting ready to get real, man. For real, for real. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Holla. Hey, man, they went in Diddy's crib, man. TMZ say Diddy irate. Said it's a witch hunt. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Holla back.